Hello everyone and welcome back to the beautiful city of Istanbul, Turkey. Today's video is going to be jam-packed as I take a ferry to explore the Asian side of Istanbul in Üsküdar. I'll be taking a lovely walk up the Bosphorus to explore the beautiful Kuzgunçuk neighborhood, Baylor Bay Palace and meeting some local ladies who make delicious Turkish food and plenty more. So join me on this interesting adventure. To get to the Asian side, you can take a ferry from one of the nearest ferry ports. My ferry port was in Besiktas. The ferry here is really quick and it only takes 10 minutes to get to Üsküdar. The ferry cost is 3.50 liras, which is 42 USD cents or 34 euro cents. Before I jumped on the ferry, I made sure to stop at one of the street vendors to grab myself a samit. Samit is a sesame crusted bread that you can have for breakfast or as a snack. The bread is crusty on the outside and soft on the inside. If you love bread, then you will love this. At the street vendor, you can also order cream cheese or your choice of spread. So the samit was 4 liras and the spread was 1 lira. So 5 liras total equals to 60 USD cents or 50 euro cents. I always enjoy catching the ferries in Istanbul because you can literally get to anywhere you want by ferry. It's one of the most relaxing things to do and is by far one of my most favourite tourist attractions and ways to get around in this city. I mean, who wouldn't want to jump from Europe to Asia in just 10 minutes? Okay, so we have just made it to Üsküdar on the Asian side of Istanbul and I'm really excited to be here actually since I've gotten off the ferry and started walking there's just been so much to see and film so I feel like I didn't even get time to eat my meat because as soon as I took a bite of it uh, we arrived in Üsküdar so I need to sit down and find a place to eat that and then we can check out more of what's around Üsküdar. As soon as you jump off that ferry into Üsküdar you are hit with this awesome atmosphere of bustling people. There are street vendors, people selling coffee, tea, tissues, pretty much anything you could imagine. There's street dogs, fishermen and it's just quite a vibe. It makes you feel like you want to sit somewhere and just take it all in. So that's exactly what I did. I sat down on a bench and not long after sitting down a street vendor offered me some tea so I said yes to that of course and just enjoyed people watching enjoying this chaotic yet somewhat relaxed ambience my tea or chai as they say in turkey cost me three liras which is 36 usd cents or 29 euro cents it's such a nice vibe here on the Üsküdar side of istanbul i feel like people in turkey they really utilize their time and space especially when it's sunny like today I can just see that everyone's out sitting on the chairs having a chai talking with friends and really just making the most of this beautiful spring day which is just lovely to see yeah I'm getting quite kind of local vibes on this side it seems more like the real side of Turkey so yeah it's very interesting to see to make the most of this beautiful day, I decided to walk to my next destination, which was in the Kuzgunchuk neighborhood. And I made a great decision on that because I was able to walk along the Bosphorus and see the bright blue water. The water was even so clear that I could see right to the bottom. This is a 21 minute walk from the ferry port to Kuzgunchuk neighborhood. If you would like to get there faster, you can take a bus or a taxi as well. Okay guys, so we have just made it to Kuzunchuk neighborhood here in Üsküdar and as you can see there are lots of beautiful old wooden houses and they're all different hues. It's just so colorful and it really lights up the neighborhood. So I'm loving walking through these streets. There's just lots of different alleyways and every alleyway has a different colorful house. So I'm just like very overstimulated right now taking all these videos and looking at all the different things here. There are cats, there's a big cafe scene here and it just seems like a very chill and laid back side of Istanbul. This neighborhood is really one of the hidden gems of Istanbul. It is centered near the Bosphorus and surrounded by nature reserves and cemeteries. So if you're walking on the main road there you may miss it. It is a beautiful neighborhood lined with old wooden houses and each house is a different color bringing an upbeat vibe to the area. The word Kuzgunchuk means little raven or barred window of a prison door in Turkish. 
The name is said to have come from a holy person named Kuzgun Baba, who lived in the area during the time of the Sultan Mehmet. So, if you're visiting Istanbul and want to find a quaint little place with the beautiful wooden houses that you see in other parts of Istanbul, minus the tourists, then I highly recommend visiting this neighbourhood. There's an abundance of cute cafes here too, so make sure you have enough time to hang around for a bit. Next up, I walked to the Bela Bay Palace. Again, you could probably take the bus or taxi here, but I decided it was too much of a nice day to be bussing everywhere. Plus, I made a really cute doggy friend on the way there who kept me company. Okay guys, so I've just walked about 20 minutes from the Kuzgunchuk neighborhood to arrive here at the beautiful Baylar Bay Palace. And this palace is situated right along the Bosphorus under the bridge and it was built during the Ottoman Empire reign to serve the purpose of a summer residence and also to entertain heads of the state. So if you're in the neighborhood you definitely have to check out this place. It costs 50 liras entrance per adult and an extra 5 liras if you wanted to visit the garden. So unfortunately I wasn't able to take any videos from the palace as they don't allow photos or videos to be taken from the inside. But I still highly recommend visiting here, there are quite a few palaces that you can visit in Istanbul and this is one of the less touristy ones. The Baylor Bay Palace means Lord of the Lords and it was used as the Imperial Ottoman Summer Residence. As you go into the palace you will have to cover your shoes with plastic covers that will be provided to you. And the first thing you will notice when entering the palace is the grand staircase and chandelier. The palace is laid out as if you were to take a walk back in time to the 1800s. So you could easily spend an hour or two here just admiring the architecture and the grand bedrooms overlooking the water. They have it signposted very well so that you can read what each room was used for. Audio guides are available for you as well if you leave a money or ID deposit which you will receive back when you're done. After all that sightseeing I had worked up quite an appetite so I stopped in at this cute little Manta cafe not far away from the Baylor Bay Palace. It's a hole in the wall kind of restaurant which you could easily miss if walking on the main road. But believe me this is not something that you will want to miss out on during your stay in Istanbul. This restaurant is as local as it gets. As you walk in you are greeted by the two loveliest ladies working away in the kitchen. All the food is made fresh as you can see in this video, one of the ladies is rolling out the dough to make manta, which is Turkish ravioli. Unfortunately I don't speak much Turkish and they didn't speak any English but we were able to communicate by smiling and hand gestures. And honestly these are the nicest people you can get. Although I visited during Ramadan I wasn't able to dine in but I could see that did not stop these ladies as they were very busy making orders for their packet service. Okay guys, so I've just stopped at this very local restaurant here in Uskadar and I got served by the loveliest ladies. They're hand making all of the manta which is Turkish ravioli and they, they handmade all the food and they were so lovely they even added me on Instagram and we took photos together at the end and it was just such an awesome feeling. My, I walked away with a very warm heart, they're so sweet to me. So let's dig in and try the food. First up I have ordered the Turkish manta and the shikborek, which seems to be some kind of deep fried pastry. Um, this is my first time trying both of these dishes, so I'm very excited. And obviously I can't do dine-in, so I'm just sitting here along the Bosphorus looking at the lovely waterfront. Uh, there are so many people out here today enjoying it, so it's a lovely scene to be in. So let's try the manta first. I think I ordered beef manta, and it's the homemade version, so it's not fried and they have a yogurt sauce on top and it looks like some kind of maybe chili paste and olive oil as i said i'm not quite sure because the ladies they couldn't speak english so when i was ordering i was just like agreeing with everything they said and they seemed to know what they were doing so let's try oh my god that is so good 
the sauce is like a yogurty garlicky sauce and I love garlic this is this is just like killing it oh my god wow wow this is so good I hope I can eat all of this because this is amazing next up we have the shikmurek which kind of reminds me of that time that I tried to make Brazilian pastel so I kind of wish Carlos was here right now because he would really love these. I mean, they look like pastels. So it's like a deep fried dough with a filling inside and the lady, again, I didn't know what I ordered, but she said paneer, which means cheese. So I'm guessing it has a cheese and garlic filling because she showed me lots of garlics while she was making this. So let's give it a go. Oh wow, that's really good. You can definitely taste all of the deep fried goodness. Super crispy on the outside and really nice smooth stringy cheese on the inside. Probably one of the best meals I've had since I've come back to Turkey. And I wasn't lying when I said that this was one of the best meals I had in Turkey this time around. So I'll link the restaurant in the description if you also want to have an amazing food experience. For both of these dishes, including water and ayran, it cost me a total of 70 liras, which is $8.35 USD or €6.90. For the remainder of my evening, I walked 40 minutes back to the port and grabbed some fresh orange juice and walked further along to see the Maiden's Tower, which can easily be viewed from Uskadar. And then I took a lovely ferry ride back home and it was the end to a perfect day. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.